You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Alaska's western coast is bracing for hurricane force winds, massive seas, and flooding this weekend. The storm is the remnants of Typhoon Murbach. The storm is also influencing weather patterns here in California, as a late summer storm is expected this weekend. Let's go ahead and get it over to meteorologist Patrick Wright. Patrick, you've been tracking this weather moving in. What are we expecting to see? Well, for us, we are seeing some much cooler weather and some showers on the way. Now, it isn't the remnants of that a former typhoon itself, but there was a little bit of an influence for this, the system that we are seeing moving in. And we are starting to see some of those clouds roll on. And this is looking from the Deer Creek Highway camera out towards Chico. And yeah, we had some sunshine earlier today. Now that is completely gone as the system begins to roll on in with some clouds. And as we saw earlier, some showers and thunderstorms out towards Trinity County. Now we will be cool tonight as we head into the future and showers will also begin for some for some areas this evening, but most of the wet and cool weather will be with us tomorrow and into the next few days. So here's what we can expect in the future cast. A few more showers will be popping up and possible some th possibly some thunderstorms out towards Siskiyou County by 10 p.m. this evening and a few scattered sprinkles possible out towards Trinity County. But the majority of the rain begins to arrive as we head into the day tomorrow and with a few showers out towards the western edge of the valley that will start to spread in some areas over the course of the day. They will be scattered for the most part. It won't be a solid shield of rain as we head throughout the day on Sunday, but there could be some heavy pockets here and there, and this will continue overnight Sunday and into Monday when more rain begins to move in towards the Sierra. Some heavy spots at times, so that's something we'll keep an eye on going forward. But this isn't like what we had last year with some of the with the atmospheric river event. It's going to be the kind of rainfall that we want over the course of the next couple of days. Not too much, not all at once. And this will be spread as we head into the beginning of the work week. So by 1 p.m. on Tuesday, we start to clear out a little bit, but we will still see some scattered showers at times. Now, the future rain total is expected by or by 11:30 p.m. on Sunday. We could see about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch in some places, but more rain is on the way as we head into the in beginning of the week, especially Monday into Tuesday and into Wednesday. Some places by Wednesday totaling up to about 1.2 inches in the valley and even two inches out towards some of the mountain areas, though we're still seeing some changes in these rain totals, but we'll keep an eye on it going forward. We'll also have some breezy conditions this evening gusts up to about 25 miles per hour in the valley. That'll begin to die down for some places in the mountains, but we could see gusts up to about 30 miles per hour by late tonight. However, that will die down as we head into the day tomorrow. Lows tonight dipping down to around the mid 50s to upper 50s across the valley, which means it is going to be great sleeping weather going forward. So hey, you can slip some, get some, open up those windows as we head into the next couple of days, but temperatures will be in the mid 60s for highs tomorrow. So much cooler with some of that rain moving in, but keep in mind your fire danger forecast is looking pretty good for tomorrow. Temperature breezes, not too bad. A low fire danger for the most part. Just use caution when cutting grass in and around the area. But your seven day forecast, here's what we have. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s Monday, Tuesday, warming up gradually Tuesday into Wednesday. But for the first day of fall, Temperatures around 80 degrees, so warming right back up to around 90 degrees by next Saturday. Rain in the forecast. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> we love it, and it's the kind of rain we want, not all at once, so spread out nicely over a couple of days. Right in time for fall. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick.